Hi everyone, we are going to work on a picture of Skippy John Jones. This is a character and a book created by a lady named Judith Bryan Shashner, and she's written a, a whole series of them. They're wonderful books. You have to go, if you ever get a chance to see or read these books in the library, or if you're just browsing through a bookstore, pick them up, just have a look at them. They're, they're fun, witty, and a beautiful character. Um, the name, the actual character, which is a small Siamese cat, is called Skipito. Uh, so we are going to draw him today, and we're going to take our normal crayons. So all I've got here is regular crayons. Now this project is for four to five year old students, and I'm just working with crayons because right now, don't assume that everyone's got access to everything. So let's keep it simple, starting with just the face. So you're going to, at the middle of the paper, draw yourself a straight line, which is the chin. Create a slight curve for the cheek on the right, but don't bring it in. So notice how my line stands straight, doesn't start coming inward, very important. Put your finger on the middle of the chin and slide yourself up, mark the top of the head. Now connect the top of the head to the cheek, to the cheek. And what you want to do is, we're going to go for the ears next. So they do not start from the top, instead a little bit to the side, make a diagonal line, go out. Do the same for the right side, diagonal line, go out. Now come down a little bit close to where you, remember you drew your cheek, right about there, and finish it off by adding the bottom of the ear right there and right there. Create the inner curve of the ear by adding a line from the middle of the ear up and you're going to color this in into black. Just like that. Now go to the other side and you are going to do the same thing right there. Now I want you to remember, anytime you want to pause this video so you can keep up with the pace of the project, please do so, so that you can run it at your own speed. Next, the nose is not in the middle, it's a little bit lower down. Create yourself a straight line followed by a triangle, just like this. It's The triangle doesn't point up, it points down. A small little line under and two curves, because he's always so happy. Touch the top two corners of the nose, go upward and go upward, just like this and place the eyes right close to it, but don't touch the nose line, it's got big eyes. And they're blue in color. So we're going to be using blue. A curved line to create the top of the eye, and you can add the bottom black, just like this. Next step, remember when you start coloring the eyes in blue, leave a little circle that you will not put any color in. This is your shine spot. When you look, even right now, if you were to turn around and look at a person, if they were sitting close to you, you would see a bright spot. This bright spot is just light reflecting off of your eyes. That's all, but we, when we put it into our art, it makes our eyes come alive. It's really beautiful to see. Next, whiskers. Go ahead and give him two, just like this. Now, we're going to put some color on the insides of the ears right there. So we're going to add pink first, but keep the pressure low. So in art, a lot of it has to do with pressure. When you are using a color to color, whether it's a crayon or a color pencil, you can either push really hard on it or softly. If you push softer, you will get to control the pressure. And if you push hard, you'll get a lot of color, but may not be always what you want. So which is why you have to consider how dark do you want this thing to be. So there you go, we have those two, but I wanna blend them. So I take a white crayon and I start blending them back and forth up all the way to the top, just like this. Back and forth, back and forth. And this helps mix in the pink with the peach. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of brown Here's my brown, just on the inside corner of the ear because this is a, a little bit 
significant for this specific cat. If you read the books and you see pictures of this cat, you will see that they've got a little deep tone in the inner sides of the ear, just at the foot of it, not all over. So you don't wanna go everywhere. There you go. Now the same brown applies to the face. So under the eyes, create, uh, touch the nose and create a curved line under the eye. Do the same on the other side. Make a curve from the bottom of the mouth, like a letter U, and stretch it to reach the corner of what you created up above. Then starting from the nose right there, you're going to color and you're going to finish off by adding the brown all over. This adds the character of our cat. Again, I encourage you to read the books because they are so fun to read, but you'll see that this is the cat that you're drawing right now. And you'll remember him when you start to open those book pages. Next. Moving on, we're going to go back down right under the nose to create a skinny little neck, just like this, very, very skinny. Keep him petite, don't go too big. Now, arms, so I don't wanna to touch the neck right now. I'm going to make two straight lines right here, come down because remember, chihuahuas have got very, very cute little bodies. Very, very cute, just like that. And you want to create the foot of one curved line and the second meets it from the outside. Again, curve on the outside, straighten the back side and meet the lines. And then add the paws. Here we go. So this helps to do complete everything. Now, we are going to create the body. So the body, the back two legs will sit not at the same level. Do you see where I ended my feet? You want to make the back foot about here one and here the second. Don't come ahead. Instead, now we're going to connect the whole thing up. So halfway up, so halfway on the arms, make a line, turn it because she's the cat sitting somewhere. Now take it straight up to meet the neck right there. For the other side of the neck, connect the outside of the arm and make it meet up. That's all you had to do. For the feet, add your foot here and a foot here and you're going to add the toes, just like this. And the tail, you're going to add by doing a curve out, bend it back in and twist. So it feels like a backward letter S, and it really is. If, you, if that makes it easier for you to draw it, do so. So that way you would have got it done. Go back to your brown, everyone. And the arms of our cat's legs are brown. The front ones only, not the back ones. So be careful, don't rush too fast into this one. And the feet are brown. There you go. And the tail, for sure, is, I'd like to use brown and black on this one because I feel it could have a little bit of double tone right there. So double tone is when something looks black, but it also might look like it has one more color tone so just to give ourselves a little bit of more depth, we're going to add two tones. This finishes the actual cat itself. Now go for the background. So we are going to create brown under our cat's feet. So you want to get, I have my brown, yes, but I'm going to take a brown with no paper on it. Can you see it? I'm going to hold it down just like this. And I'm going to make myself, first I'll make myself a horizon line, just like this. Remember, do not draw on top of your, our cat here, just a horizon line. Touch the line, hold the crayon down, and bring it downward. Don't know if you can see this, but this is creating a little bit of ground for us. Just brown in color, and here you go. I hope all of this is coming through well for you on the video. Again, please feel free to pause the video at any given time when you feel that it might be a bit fast for you. We don't want you to feel like it's going too, too fast. Remember, if you were at our classes in Monarch right now, we normally take about an hour to finish everything. So since we are not there, we can do it this way. Now, for the grass around uh, Skipito, we have two colors. I have the long, bigger crayon sticks, but I wanna use these instead. 
So you can, all you have to do is take off some paper from your crayon, break it to a smaller spot, touch, hold it down, and turn a different side, turn a different side. Just stroke. So you have, you're holding it tight, but as you go up, you release. You release, and release, and release, and release. Now take your second green color and we do it again. For those of you who love cats, you know that cats love playing out. They love to explore. They, they're they really into, they, they're very independent in nature, which is really, really good too. Sometimes that's a good thing. Our dogs are very loyal and they will wait for you to come home to take care of them. Cats are survivors and they just are just so independent, fiercely independent, which is a great thing. You can increase the color on the grass once they're drawn in. This way you don't have to draw two lines and then make the grass and all the rest of it. You can also create it by way of technique. I want to increase the color so that it looks really, really vibrant. And so I will take a little bit of time to do so. There we are. And there you have it, everyone. That's our picture of Skipitito. And here's a yellow. If, I, if you felt like the sky behind him needs a color, again, take a crayon that has no paper on it and carefully contour. That means trace around the body of your cat and just rub it everywhere. So that way, you've, what you've done in essence is you've given a beautiful yellow sky and it's daytime somewhere. And our cat here is warming itself in the wonderful day outside. And that's all it is. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about it or if you found any part of it difficult or, or anything, please email, write a comment below and we will get back to you ASAP. You can also uh, try rerunning it. If you have comments, we encourage you to write those down here so that we can help you to draw some of your favorite characters from your favorite books. See you soon. Be safe.